Koreans love underdog stories, overcoming odds, coming out of nowhere to rise and shine. That's why audition programs dominate the airwaves in recent years. One of the diamonds in the rough discovered this way is Forte de Quattro. Our cultural correspondent Lee Ji-won got a chance to meet them in person, and she says they may bring forth the wind of change in Korea's music industry, stuck in ballad, hip-hop, and dance mode. A quartet of voices, each one complementing the others. Hot new Korean artist Forte Di Quattro held their first media showcase at UT Art Hall in Southern Seoul on Thursday. Combining elements of pop and opera, the so-called popera singers performed four tracks off their first album, which is to be released on Friday. Having shot to fame by winning a popular Korean audition program called Phantom Singer, the group's debut was widely anticipated. The group thanked the audience but said that they are also grateful to have contributed in increasing the awareness of crossover, the term used for music that is made up of a fusion of two or more other musical genres. We believe this is only the start of setting a firmer ground for musicians in the crossover genre in this country. So we feel the burden to have to do well and pave the way for there to be more groups like us up on the stage. Crossover is a common genre in other countries. But despite Korean artists fusing different genres for decades, many Korean audiences are unfamiliar with crossover, not seeing it as a separate genre itself. Many Koreans think crossover means popular, but that's a misconception. Popera is a kind of crossover, but there can be many more, such as the fusion of jazz and Korean traditional folk songs, or of rap and classical music. So the genre will always be developing. The expert added that with more artists fusing different music styles and classifying themselves as crossover musicians, the genre will be able to establish itself in the local music industry, perhaps even becoming as popular as K-pop, both at home and abroad. Ijiwan, Arirang News.